Hi, uh, I'm Jessica, and welcome to Gaming as Adult. Uh, I got a new desk because mine was falling apart, and uh, it it needs help. So we're gonna help it. Uh, Hi, I'm Austin, still gaming as adults. I'm behind the camera, because this is Jessica's desk. And Jessica doesn't know very much about refinishing furniture at all. In fact, I would venture to say that she knows literally nothing about it. However, I've done quite a bit of sanding and stain work in my day. And my grandfather teaches woodworking, and so I, I have a pretty good understanding of a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to be filling in a lot of the blanks where Jessica doesn't know, and she's going to be doing a lot of it. That's not to say that I'm not going to help her. I will. But it's her desk. She's going to do it. So let's talk about the problem areas of this desk. This desk is not perfect in any way, shape, or form. There's a lot of problems with it. There's a lot of just... It, I think it was somebody's project, like a garage project or something like that. Honestly, I think the dude that we bought it from, it was his project. He has an antique or secondhand store. And a lot of his stuff is overpriced for individuals that want to be cultured and then remain in the same city that they grew up in. Um, One of the things that is wrong with it is the sides are like, the sides are just veneer. Right, so we can actually get a pretty good look on it. Um, so, it's not an actual wood piece. There is a solid wood like board underneath it. Yep. It just like they just stuck this on on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me see if I can't get it better. Um, can you get all the like damage? Oh yeah, I can see a lot of that. So it looks like they put extra adhesive underneath, and it caused a lot of like bumps. For those of you that don't know, you can get like a like this sort of material. This is like a, a veneer, really, really thin piece of wood. And usually you can get it with some sort of adhesive on the back of it. So basically all you do is it's a sticker. You just peel off the back and slap it on here and make sure everything is nice and smooth. However, if you don't apply it correctly or you put too much um, glue yeah, underneath it, you put additional glue for whatever reason it isn't sticking, which is what it looks like here, which is why we can see there's this crack. And like there's warbling that matches right. the grain this of is, it. This is very, very novice job. It was not done correctly. It wasn't sealed properly. You can see that it's already starting to peel. Um, and just straight up, this is the side of it. And that's the top. And, and this is original. This is original. This doesn't peel or anything like that. We can look really closely here. There's damage here where it ran into something. Uh, let me see. It's going to be kind of shitty because our camera sucks. But there's damage here where it ran into something. And you can see the difference. Um, and then the back piece is... The light's going to get a bit worse and there's very little that I can do about this. Um, so this is all just finishing nails and like... Uh, particle board, I guess. Yeah. And like it isn't even attached all the way. No, it's... Um, originally this would have had a solid piece of wood on the back, but this type of material is very, very reminiscent of like uh, an Ikea bookshelf and the backing, like the cardboard piece that goes on the back of that. And you can see where the original is because it's actual wood. It's like real wood. And then they put this back in here. Um, this is not original. You can tell because if we look at the side there, what is that? Plywood or press wood, something of the nature. This side is though. That's curious. Huh. And then on the inside there, this is from the back view. We can also see a lot of that peel and stick type material that they just did not apply correctly or water damage or something like that. But yeah, on this side. Same story. Same story, different place. It's cheap. It's you can just kind of peel it off like this. Oh, shit. I didn't have that on video. Anyways, you can just kind of like take your fingernail, put it underneath like that. 
and just kind of peel at it and they'll come off. So, but all of the wood is actual wood. All the drawers and stuff are original. Um... And then the big one that we're kind of dreading is the centerpiece has to be replaced. Yep. So, um, yeah, this centerpiece, you can see that there's a difference between this bevel line right here and where a different piece of wood was actually added. If you look at the grain in the wood alone, it doesn't line up well even at like, have. it doesn't even line up level. Right, it doesn't feel the same either. Um, so this, this center piece of wood here is all just one solid sheet. But what tipped me off to it, to go back, is you can see this piece, and that's a solid piece of wood. And all of this is, function is just to hold the hutch where it lies. Um, and it's just a long strip that goes to either side. And then this is the actual table surface itself. And you can see, once again, plywood or press wood or something like that. My concern with this is if we start sanding on it, there's not going to be enough material. There might be, but honestly, I don't know. There's so, a lot of damage to it over here, and it looks like there's previous holes. Yeah. Like maybe they picked it up and spun it around. Uh, that's not likely, because then the holes would be in the front. Let's see. Well, because there's the two holes to hold this down from the hole, from the like screws that it's missing. Mm. And it, that's about the same distance. No, it's not, not at all. Nope. So, so that's just something else. It just looks like a reused piece of wood from something else. Yeah. And this is all, I'd like to believe, original. These? These are like this. That's yeah. how they are. Yeah, these are um, just... That's it's a very, very thin piece of material. That is just the way that it is. These drawers, you can tell, they're very... Uh, come on, Austin, to focus. Sorry, trying to focus on the camera and what I'm doing with my hands. Kind of difficult. Anyways, you can see this is a lot of actual wood, actual material, especially on those seams. So that's like the original. Even the bottom piece is a solid piece of wood. Yeah, it's very thin. No, it didn't need to be thick. Right, but it, it is a solid piece of wood. Yep. So we are going to convert this stationary desk into a computer desk. And that is the project. So, Jessica, what tools do we have for this? Oh, uh, we got a sander. Uh -huh. We're going to sand everything down. What kind of sander? I don't know. Where is it? Somewhere. Why don't you go grab it? No. We got a sander, mm -hmm. uh, some sandpaper. Uh huh. We got some stain. Uh huh. And a paintbrush. Uh huh. Yeah. What kind of grid is your uh, sandpaper? I don't know. Oh. That doesn't matter. We'll get oh, that out later. Oh, doesn't matter. We got like three different kinds. Professional quote. Grid <laughs> doesn't matter. Use, <laughs> Use them all. <laughs> The higher the grit, the better, right? No. No? Other wear outs. Other wear outs. You want to go to the lower. I don't know. What's so we're going to sand this down to 10 grit. All right, we're going to start there. Jessica's advice. Professional. <laughs> you start with the most bumpy, and then you go to the least bumpy. All right, so we're going to start with the 10 grit. We'll see what happens there. It's going to um, be about the same as uh, taking this desk and pushing it up this gravel road. We'll flip it onto another side, we'll push it back. <laughs> uh, Sand it. <laughs> so I, I think where we're going to start is peeling the stuff off the sides. Yep. And what are we going to need to do that? Um, hopefully not the heat gun, but if it doesn't come off easy, the heat gun. Usually you'd use a scraper of some sort. So yeah. you'd use like a metal edge. There are actual uh, scrapers that are like a steel type material rubber handle. Um, I don't have one of those. So I have a razor blade. I have knives. So we're going to start with that. See right. what we can do. Yeah. All right. You ready? Sure. All right, let's go get 
stuff.
So, fast update. Uh, we've got to dust over, see if we can get the feet off, because this stuff actually goes in between the side and the foot. So, we're going to flip it over and there, see. Me... Don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually goes all the way down. Um, so it is behind this piece of wood right here, so we have to take that off in order to get it off. We've made some good progress. This is Jessica's side. She's doing great, Jessica. Jessica got hot and sticky and sweaty, and so she had to change in something more breathable, which is understandable because it's about 80 degrees out. It's also humid as fuck. The humidity is what's getting that. me. And I did that. And I did that. He's making a lot more progress than I am. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. All Time right. to get a step. Time to flip it. So as you guys can see, when you put this material on, you put it on underneath the foot in order to try to keep it on. There's been some sort of water damage going on here. Um, that's what this discoloration is. It's also dirt and filth and grime. These sides are not the original. They the, are plywood type material. Yeah, the, both the outside side, mm -hmm. both the outside panels on both sides. Are plywood type material. Which but, means we're probably going to have to replace them. But at least that's an easy replacement. Yeah, relatively speaking, yes it is. Because it just unscrews here. Yep. So. We could just do that rather than paling at the sides and just focus on the inside two panels, which are original. Yeah. Because they're pretty much two by fours. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. All right, back to trying to get off the sticky crap. Yep. Such pain, honestly. So much of a pain. Here we go.
Alright guys, I'd like to thank you for watching uh, part one of repairing my desk. Unfortunately, I lost some footage, so what we ended up doing here at the end was we got all of the veneer off all of all four uh, pieces that we wanted to. And in the next part, you will see us take the desk apart and start piecing together some um, wood that we picked up at our local hardware store for replacement pieces. Thanks for watching.